Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy J Suave 2K, and today I got a special one for y'all, man. Today we're gonna be talking about the cross key score badge in NBA 2K21. Now, real quick, hope everybody had a, a happy Halloween. Um, whoever went to the Halloween parties, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you you caught the Rona. Nah, but for real though, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video helps me out a ton, and yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so let's get started with the badge description, and it says it boosts the ability to make running hooks, layups, or close-range pull-ups while driving across the paint. All right, now, so for these tests, I used Luka Doncic, and he had an 88 close shot, and I used I used close-range pull-ups to measure these tests, you know what I mean? It was kind of hard to get that running hook animation as well as the other ones, but the close pull-ups was, like, the easiest one to do, so I'm going to just show you all with that, but... um yeah with no badge uh i was able to hit wide open close you know close range pull-ups as i should right i had a 88 close shot so i didn't see any problems there but whenever there was a slight contest of any sort um i found myself not making too many of those especially like if it was over let's say 10 like i wasn't really making those type of shots so that was kind of ass but once i did put it on bronze there was a, a slight increase to like, you know, hitting those lightly contested ones, but it wasn't a huge increase to where, you know, I would I would tell you to go and get bronze, you know what I mean? But on to silver, when I tested on silver, again, it was a, it was a little improvement from, you know, bronze and no badge, you know, in hitting those lightly contested ones from like, you know, the 15% the range. But anything other than that, it was kind of iffy, like you didn't really know, it was up to the 2K, my size at that point but yeah uh when i did test it on gold on gold is when i noticed that this badge you know may have some hope you know what i mean but yeah i was able to hit pull-ups like contested and these were like you know pretty pretty well contested shots like i was hitting consistently from like 30 to 40 percent you know with the good timing and stuff like that but you know that's 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 pretty that's that's pretty good especially like if you're trying to use pull-ups to your advantage like on rec and you know you beat your defender and you know, there, there's a lot more people on the course. So obviously someone, well, if, you know, they're <laughs> smart, they're going to, you know, help defense and stuff like that. So, you know, that that's kind of useful in those type of uh, predicaments. But uh, when I did test it on Hall of Fame, however, I was able to hit, you know, a lot of contested shots. Like if it wasn't a very contested, you know, shot like red, uh, I was able to hit if it was, you know, if it was a good shot timing and stuff like that. But yeah, for the most part, man, if it, if, if it wasn't red, you know what I mean? It was, it was pretty much going in bro and it was pretty cool um with all that being said man so quick recap no badge hitting open ones any contest not really bronze hitting slightly more contest silver hitting slightly lightly more contest and then gold i was hitting more contested shots hall of fame i was goddamn debug out there now, as far as the badge recommendations, um, honestly, I, I wouldn't recommend anything other than gold if you are trying to use this badge. Um, I feel like this badge is useful to those to those players that, you know, don't really look for layups as much because, you know, of their inability to finish in the paint, whether that be that they are, you know, smaller guard or, or they don't have a, a high layup or dunk rating, anything like that. I feel like using this badge on gold really benefits you. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it over slithery finisher but you know i could maybe maybe go against you know the other badges but honestly man if if you're not really a, a pull-up guy in any sort i don't think this th i don't think this badge is for you um, it could work from time to time, but hey, like you gotta, you gotta play to your strengths, bro. So if you don't really pull up, bro, don't use this badge. All right. But it, it does, it does give you an increase when you put it on golden hall of fame for sure. But if you have hall of fame finishing bad, I don't think you would <laughs> want to put this if you know, you're trying to be a dunker and, and catch bodies and all that. But yeah, for that's, that's for that, man, the badge recommendations, but you know what I mean? I, I personally have tried it on bronze. Uh, when I used my shot creator build, he, he had a low close shot attribute rating so you know what i mean i felt like this badge would help and i tried it on bronze it was okay for hitting you know the lightly contested stuff like that like i can i can feel a little difference but honestly when i put like solidity finisher obviously that that badge was way better in regards to finishing in the paint so you know what i mean i i just went with that but like i said man <laughs> 
just I, I, I wouldn't recommend it if, if you're not that type of player that's gonna pull up all the time from close range but that, that's pretty much the end of the video guys uh, if you did find it informative and helpful please subscribe to this channel like this video I post 2k content and I'm gonna continue to post 2k content throughout the year um, I'm trying to get 500 subs by the end of November so you know what I mean it, it doesn't hurt to, to hit that sub for me you feel me but that's pretty much it man I'll catch y'all next time peace